Hello and good day! Today I have a very special vlog for you prepared because it's dedicated to Sunny. Many of you may know who this is, it's uh, my lovely cat. I decided to make one special vlog for her because uh, she's part of the family and in addition to that I have time because I'm in self-isolation and uh, yeah it's the proper time to do so. I have Sunny I think like for eight months now and she is about eight months old. We got her when she was like two weeks old and she was as tiny as to fit in my palm and she was very sick what we didn't know at this time. The reason why we got the cat is not because we wanted one. Actually I'm a big fan of cats and I always wanted to have one cat or maybe two or even more because I love cats so much but actually we didn't have time or we thought we don't have time for a cat and that's why I never made it to to have one but as destiny wanted to Sunny stepped into my life and the reason why it happened so it was not a planned one but I can remember I was in London that time it was Carson Coffee London and I forgot my camera that is basically my main tool what I work with what I do the vlogs with what I do the pictures and I left it in my car it was in the center of London I left it in the car on the back seat I know it's stupid but it was supposed to be just for two minutes when I do the checkout and get back to the car grab the camera and we were heading already to our dinner and within these two minutes some guys broke up the car they stole the camera um, they broke the side windows in the rear and uh, just stole it off out of the car and because Noemi thought when I get back home I'm gonna be very mad because she knows me when I um, lose my things especially this camera with the sim card it had in it i can remember just a few days before i was in london i was also in taiwan and i made a very special vlog about the production there about the production of the ford wheels uh, it was very complicated and very time consuming one so i lost like five days of uh, filming this and i was very mad so now amy just decided what can she do in order to cheer me up and she got sunny she got a cat she got a cat without telling me, she just went there to this place and um, just took her and she was supposed to be a surprise but as Noemi is very um, or was very excited she called me on video and uh, told me that she's got a very nice surprise for me and it was sunny. She just showed me the tiny little monster and I fell in love right away with the cat because um, I don't know it felt kind of special she felt from the first second we got her special and not like a normal cat well i think noemi in the first place she didn't want even to keep her she wanted just to foster her so we can find a new home for her a safe place because uh, she was born on the streets and her mom is a cat from the street and we just wanted to do some good and give her a new home give her a future but um, as god wanted or i don't know it happened that like two weeks later after she grew a little bit we woke up in the morning and we were supposed I think it was a Sunday as far as again I can remember we were supposed to wake up later uh, because we had a day off she put her watch I think it was nine o'clock to wake her up and this actually happened and I can remember when she went from the bedroom to the living room uh, she found her cold and uh, lifeless almost dead on the couch she was uh, losing body temperature she lost a lot of weight although she was very tiny and very skinny she had no meat on her bones she came in the bedroom she woke me up and i can remember i was like devastated i saw her there i took her in my hand she was just like hanging over my hand and i thought it, she was dead but once i took a closer look at her belly i saw her like breathing and the first thing what we did, we just grabbed the cage, put her in the cage, went down to the car, hustling to the doctor. Her vet is like three or four minutes away. I think I made it in like two minutes this day because I was so worried. Yeah, the whole nightmare started because we both fell in love with uh, Sunny from the first day and it was really hard to see her like suffering. The biggest problem was what we did not know or expect once we brought her to the vet. They made some tests in order to check what diseases she had because uh, it's normal that cats from the street have diseases and um, 
the devastating result of this test was that she had like three diseases at one time two were curable one was not and the doctor told us um, there's less hope or almost no hope for us we should uh, put her to sleep it was no option for me it was no option for noemi we were like crying we were thinking contemplating what we can do should we just put her asleep and uh, just fuck it you know because we had no hope or the second option was to fight what we eventually also decided to do we told the doctors doesn't matter what it takes it does not matter what uh, efforts you have to do just try to save her and we were lucky enough that at this vet, because Noemi is studying also veterinary medicine, one colleague of hers was working and she took a very special care of her. She put her into a warm spot. She filled uh, gloves with hot water and kept her warm in order to bring her back to raise her body temperature, fighting with um, liquids she had to drink and to, um, to eat because she was losing body weight and she was dehydrated and we were lucky and are lucky right now as well that she eats a lot she's an eater she loves to eat it doesn't matter how much food you give her she eats and she kept also eating while she was sick also at the vet also in this period it was like one week that she had to spend at the vet and also during this time she was uh, eating a lot i think this was one of the main reasons together with the fact that we had the girl there who took care of her that she she made it we were visiting her like every day and as well as steve who is her uncle right now and he's uh, also visiting her right regularly we were taking care of her showing her love that she see that she's not alone there's somebody that uh, loves her and takes care of her and cares for her and it was really tough it was a tough time i was i don't know if you can imagine or not i was crying literally every day for her because i couldn't see her in this situation she was dirty she was um, shaved on her uh, small cute legs because they were searching for her veins but she was too tiny uh, to give her like medicine in their in her veins because they couldn't find some she was literally too tiny and that made the whole process of recovering very um, difficult but with our love with her uh, sense of food that she ate a lot and with the help of the other guys we put her back to um, to life we brought her back to life and and after one week we were able eventually to bring her back home to feed her to give her enough love to um, make her feel like uh, she is wanted and she is loved and this is what we do we love her we try to give her the best that we could we can do and luckily i think the only thing that is really lucky or positive in this coronavirus thing is the fact that we have to spend a lot of time at home which for me personally is not that bad because i can spend time with her it was actually one of my wishes that i had for 2020 to have a little bit more time for myself a little bit more time for my family to spend time with sunny with my girlfriend and yeah for me that's why i don't think this whole situation is a bad one because uh, i profit from that we have uh, sunny right now i think seven or eight months and we are very happy she's playing all the time she's talking to us she's very smart very intelligent hello well say hello to sunny there she is she's now big she's very healthy she's got a beautiful fur she seems to be like some yeah she seemed to be a kind of a special breed but she's not we actually don't know her father we just know her mother which is a normal street cat and we have no idea who her father is but she seems special and she's special special to us if you wonder what we do when we are not at home because i travel a lot as far as you know uh, sunny has also a grandmother which is our neighbor she lives in the opposite apartment of ours and she loves sunny as much as we do and the good thing on it is that we can leave her at her place whenever we have to travel, whenever we, ha we have uh, things to do or we leave our apartment or we leave Romania. And uh, that's so cool. Once we open the door, she rushes to the door of our neighbor and she loves her so much. And yeah, she's got an uncle, she's got a grandfather, she's got parents. Uncle Steve? Yeah, Uncle Steve who visited her at the vet when uh, she had her hardest time. I was always dreaming about having a cat and having such a special one like sunny is makes it even more exciting and 
gives us like really a reason to live and keeps us alive. We simply love her. She's uh, she's like a, like our child. Did you tell them how she wakes you up in the morning? Yeah, there is one thing that we don't really like that much at Sunny, Sunny's behavior because I don't know what's her problem. She gets all the love and all the attention she can get from us, but it's like she had an inner clock that wakes her up at five o'clock in the morning every day, and there is not like sometimes four. Yeah. But it's not like one past five or five past five is like on the clock five she jumps into my bed and tries to play with me or starts yelling that she's hungry and stuff but it's funny yeah i think i can get i can live with that it's difficult but well now you know why i have to wake up at five and why i work so hard because i have no choice i have to get up at five and uh, yeah get to work there's nothing else to do thank you sunny for that <laughs> Sunny, 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 sunny